Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah. Well, you know, and it's funny, uh, Bishop, that even after he after he did until Lazarus come forth, you know, it's, it's funny, on this right here, um, just the thing of how people think, you, you see on this, this thing, they wanted to kill him for it. I think I messed, I messed script in one second. And when he came forth, grave clothes, and face was bound about, napkin. Jesus said unto them, loose him and let him go. And here's the subtitle, The Plot to Kill Jesus. They actually got to the same. Verse 45, the many Jews which were, which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their way to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we? But this man does many miracles. If we let him alone, all look at now, Bishop, look at what he's trying to say. If we let him alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. Yes. Now, Brother Asa, I don't know if you caught that. You can hear me back from where you were. After he rose him from the dead, look what the look how the, the Pharisees reacted to it. Okay. And and, and they, they were they, but this is the main thing, verse 48, if, if we let him alone, all men will believe in him. Is that a problem? He did a miracle. He glorified God. What's the problem? But look what they put as a problem, Bishop. They ain't believing in us. Yeah, and, they're gonna take our authority away. And then yeah, in the wrong can't be the Republican Party no more. Wow. Take away our place. Oh, in the nation. And then and then Caesar could get mad because now he to become a king. <laughs> yeah. What's hey God Lee? Are we are we all kind of held back because of worried about what we're gonna lose in our place? Is that a that an issue? <laughs> and that's why we hold back on Jesus. <laughs> yeah. On our faith. Yeah, it's exactly why. Woo! Don't nobody want to move out of comfort. Wow. Don't want nobody want to, we don't want to lose nothing. I mean, that's why it's called a living sacrifice. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So when we pray, we we can we we worry about losing our place, Bishop. We and then we promise, huh? In the nation. In the nation. Mm. And look, the slide, the, the slide after that. Because he and about their place. And they're, and, they're, and they're seemingly ownership of the nation. Mm -hmm. And yeah, 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 our nation, our place, and our nation. Yeah. Hey, Bishop. And then it went into another religious speech. Uh, I'm a prophesy. Hey, look at this, brother Addison. <laughs> look at this. Read that for us. This it, it's really not funny when you think about it because that's that's. Cause like I said, you gotta put ourselves sometime in this thing, but Oh, that's us. That's <laughs> us. We we can't say nothing. Man, I used to talk about them Pharisees like a dog. All them leaves. Them leaves. 
Who eats them sings. <laughs> right? Woo! What, what can I read it for? So people can see what you're coming from. Woo! You start from 49. Yeah. And one of them named uh, Cephas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, we know nothing at all. <laughs> oh, consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation. And see, in this right there, is one of those instances where you, you speak and not know what you're speaking about. What you're saying, right, right. Okay, 52. And not for the nation only. Oh, really? Really? But that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Now, he talking about that father's lost tribes, I assume, right? Yeah. The northern tribe, yeah. Then from that day forth, they took counsel together for to put him to death. Wow. After that miracle. I don't know about y'all, but I mean, it's not a big business. That's a big miracle he did. Well, he, well, he, he's just being used, unfortunately, because he's he's not connected to God. He doesn't know he's being used. Uh huh. You talking about the Caiaphas or the uh, uh, Jesus? Yeah. 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 No yeah. different than than Caesar. No different than uh, he's, 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 he's interpreting his own prophecy according to the flesh. Interesting. Hey, hey, Vincent, I'm gonna throw politics in y'all for a second. The, 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 we're going back to the brother as we talked earlier before we started about the politics. I, of all the things that people are doing. Have you anybody heard about say praying to God? Yeah. To turn this to turn this thing around. They they, they go into court. They 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 lie, but they ain't praying to God at all. So I believe God is gonna take care of this. <laughs> Look, I saw I saw a woman. What you said? <laughs> we believe Pfizer gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. What, what did that woman have? She said, I'm a Christian and I'm a Trump supporter. And then started cussing. <laughs> started cussing and talking about Trump won yeah. and, and all these other different just, just craziness. I just wondered. I just, you know, it's like, wow. I just was a difference. Check this out. The guy asked, he said, where are you getting your information from? <laughs> <laughs> well, it sure ain't Fox no more. <laughs> it ain't you. <laughs> Look, it ain't you either. <laughs> but we get it. We get it from here and there. Wow. Here and there. Wow. This is just, a, it's just amazing. Just like these guys were blind to Jesus. Sometimes a few just blind. Willingly? And really, bitch, I'm trying to... Huh? I'm going to have to go out. Huh? I'm going to have to go out. I got some things I got to take care of from Lord. All right. Hey, look, matter of fact, we appreciate you coming. Uh, and really, just to let you know, I wasn't going to close so much on toward that switch. I just took it as a rabbit trail that says that even these people could not see Jesus in the midst of a miracle. Yeah. And I think a miracle, they didn't want huh? They didn't want to. They didn't want to. They didn't want to, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. they don't want to at this time today. Yeah, it ain't time yet. 
That's amazing. They don't as want soon as, the bottom, as soon as the bottom fall out, then we'll be ready. Wow. Hey, bitch, was it seven million or is it is it seven million difference in the votes? Is God talking? Was it seven million? I think it's seven million. Uh, the difference is seven three and what seven eight. He got 74. I, know, I, know it's at least five million. I think it's seven million. I think one is God talking. That's all I'm saying. I think it's seven million. I just I'm just saying it's God talking and we ain't listening. Well, it don't matter. If it, if it be 20 million, he's still stolen. They'll do they'll do just like this, won't they? Yeah. Even in the midst of a miracle. That's all I'm trying to show the parallel of this stuff. Yeah. In the midst of a miracle. People still want to kill Jesus. Crucify him. <laughs> and y'all will watch out. In time, they're going to say, crucify you. All right, Bishop, you have a good one. All right, gentlemen. Take care. All right. All right brother, be gonna, and brother, I going to close out anyway. Uh, okay. But brother, isn't that something? Yeah. I mean, so so from, from what I was getting out of that, just to throw it at you, is that prayer is powerful. And Jesus is saying, I like what he said about Father, I know you heard me. And I think we need to have that faith in God that he hears us. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, you know and, what? what? That was the first time I saw that. What? That verse? I always read that. Father, I know you hear me. Oh, yeah, that's true. Not hurt. Oh, yeah. I that know. was the first time I saw that. I'm going to tell you something. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. I did too. I, I was, <laughs> I just let it go because I took it as the, I, matter of fact, I'm going to tell you, I think in the, in one of the, I think it could be the old Bible language, thou hearest me. Yeah. But like you said is, clearly in this translation, thou heard me. Yes. When I pray, I know you heard me. It's always... It, look, it was already done. This was a done deal because he heard him. He heard and I know you hear me now yeah. while I'm talking to you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that they may believe. Lazarus. Come on now, get. Get up for them. Get up for them. I am the resurrection, he said. Yeah. I'm the resurrection. Didn't I tell you that I am the resurrection? And then they moved the stone out of the way. Yeah. And they probably like, oh well. <laughs> he heard him. He said he's the resurrection. Yeah. <laughs> stone out of the way. This ball couldn't smell because Jesus said he was asleep. He, he, he wasn't he, right. He, right. He was speaking spiritual love at first, wasn't he? Yeah, but he 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 couldn't be right. Well, that's that's a good truth. That's that's because he had already been prayed for. Yeah. The, the, the prayer had already went forth, and everything was being worked on at that moment. And check this out. And we don't know if when he first prayed for Lazarus, because he said, I know you heard me, that Lazarus wasn't just sitting in there awake, like, man, Jesus just get called up. me out here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let my just, just give me, just, just come on, give me out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bishop, I see him still. Yeah, I, you froze. Yeah, yeah. You froze yeah. on me. I, you know when I freeze, I think you freeze. Yeah, that's what I said. I told my wife. I said he stuck on me, and I'm stuck on you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But you know, in the movie, did you see this movie, Book of John? I think it's the Book of John. Did you see it? No, I didn't. Well, you know what they did though. 
when they uh, roll the stone away. <laughs> that boy Steve. I'm just saying, I want to throw that at you. They gave the impression, they wanted to put that in the in the acting that they uh, smell it. No. I don't believe that. But the Bible is not saying that they reacted to the smell. Did no. it? No. They received that man. Yeah. He couldn't have been de decomposing if he's walking out. Oh, oh, oh. Did you ever catch this part, right? Right? He was bound. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, he was bound. So, 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 how are he gonna walk? Unless he's, unless he's hopping, right? No, hopping, pastor, is hopping. Yeah. Right. Walking is walking. <laughs> well, well, look, look, like it says right there. Uh, yeah, bound yeah. hand and foot with gray cloth. Soggy boo. And his face was bound about with a napkin. So I think the power of God brought him out. Yeah. He came forth. As he came forth. Not on his ability. Look, look, it could have been some some Jedi type of. <laughs> yeah. Or Spike, look, that Spike Lee moving through the movie. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Spike Lee had people standing still moving in his movies. <laughs> you see, I'm saying, Ray, he could hide even get up. Yeah. His, his hands were bowed. His foot was bowed with grave clothes. That means he was wrapped. I didn't see that either. He was wrapped all the way. And yet he came forth. His faith was bowed. How do you see? His faith. Hand and his feet were bound with grave clothes. So, was the rest of his body naked? <laughs> no, I said, no. He said, look at his face. His face was bound with a napkin. It wasn't bound. What it said, bound? Oh, yeah, it does say bound about with a napkin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah. only his, so look, so only his face, his hands, and his feet were covered. The rest of them was naked. Is that what you trying to say? I don't think that's how they did it. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. The, the, the reason we really think they let them rot in the, in the grave yeah. and collect the bones and put yeah. it in a little box. Yeah. And uh, he said, loose them and let them go. Now, that means, look, they had to, look, they had to loose him. Yeah, take it apart to let him go. So he was moved under the power of God. Yeah. Because he had to be loose to let him go. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pray <laughs> about that. I'm gonna have to ask God to show that to me. Yeah, I read it right there, ain't it? He had grave clothes on, the grave clothes, I assume they wrap them up. Yeah. He says foot was bound, his hand was bound, nap, face covered. That boy made out of that cave. He made that cave, but God got him out of that cave. Yeah. He said he came forth. Yeah, that's on. another thing. What? That Lazarus couldn't take no glory in that. He didn't either. He didn't. But they had to lose him. Yes. 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 That's even more glory to God. He couldn't see nothing. Completely out of the grave. Come on, brother. Not just get up Come in on. the grave and walk out. Right. No. Completely out of the grave. Completely resurrected. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From yes. the power of God. And then let loose. Exactly, because in the real world, laws of physics, he would have rolled off of whatever he was laid on mm -hmm. and still, and still trying to get up. <laughs> it's, yeah. And, and look, and then where I'm going, I can't see. Yeah. Power of God, brother. Power of God. But he said is that prayer, I, I think the whole purpose of this, because I was talking about 
power of prayer, you still had to do, Jesus had to do his part in that, didn't he? Jesus had to go to the grave place. Jesus needed to ask somebody to move the stone out of the way. Jesus needed to pray loud enough for everybody else to hear what Jesus already asked the Father to do. He did it to glorify God. I mean, look at all the components in there. Glorify God and, and doing it for others to believe. Because he already believed. He was, what do you mean? He's settled, isn't he? And, and, and I think God is saying, let us learn to be settled. And I'm saying, nobody telling us easy, but we need to move beyond the easy by saying it's not my responsibility. Hey, brother Adam, look, it wasn't Jesus' responsibility to pick him up and take him out of the grave. No, room. it was not. Come on, bro. We need to sit there and have faith in God. And that's what the scripture said, right? Have faith in God. Our part is our part is not all that much, but yet we still have a part to play. So we ask people to pray, we ain't ask you just to sit on your butt and do nothing. So what about this part? The Pharisees wouldn't have known nothing about this if them folks didn't go tell. Yeah, I think some Pharisees were with them though. Some of the some of them went. It says, but some of them went their way. Yes. Yeah. The Pharisees. But they went to, to the to the leadership. Yeah. They went to the leadership. And told them. Yeah. Yeah. And remember when when he walked into when he came into the city with the palm, like they call it Palm Sunday, whatever. Yeah. Then they said because of the story, they already heard about the I think it said it there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you remember the next script, the next chapter was talking about they even wanted to kill Lazarus. So when Jesus went to go to Lazarus, it said that people came from where Jesus was from. Jerusalem. Some people came from Jerusalem, yeah. From Jerusalem. Yeah, I don't know how far 15 furloughs, you know? Yeah, but the thing about it is, are these the same people that he could not perform many miracles? No, that's Nazareth. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's Nazareth. Yeah. This this is the people who did, rejected him. Yeah. Uh the leadership at the Sanhedrin is the ones that was uh that was told. Did you know he just did? And you remember that one when he came in on Pop Sunday? Remember one of them said, look, the whole world is going after him. Yeah. And I thought that was significant because it's showing is that it was kind of like they, they like you said, they didn't know what they were speaking, but they said the whole world, which is what is the goal of God. Yeah. The whole world, he came to save the whole world, but he's had to start with Jerusalem. So I thought that was interesting, man. I'm to talk about it. Huh? He had to die. Yes. You know, from they they would have they would have believed, but they would have still been under the law. Yes. He would have changed the world, but the world wouldn't have changed. Because they would have still been under the law and unable to come to righteousness or receive the Holy Spirit. Right to live a life suitable to God. Yes. I agree. I agree. I think that's that's the that's the issue here, you know. Um but I definitely wanted to you think then we can pick that up on Sunday too about the the power of prayer. Do we do we need to get Yeah we can we can keep talking about this. You know um I started reading that book that uh Bishop uh, uh, Rape of the Mind and it's talking about how they can change people's thoughts okay. 
Okay. And hypnotize them to say and do things. And they believe that it was their thoughts. Sound like sound like what's going on today, ain't it? Yeah. The mass and this, scale. This is based off of uh you know, torture. Okay. But torture can be like uh, keeping someone awake when they need to be yeah. asleep. Yeah. Putting them in a psychotic, uh, dizzy, you know, opiate state when they want to be awake. Mm. You know, just just messing their their mind up, not knowing them, letting them know when it's day or when it's night, and, and stuff like that. Uh, And when they torture people physically, and then they, and then they do things uh, to them for them to just, they'll, they'll they'll get to a point to where they just accept the torture and just want to die. Then they don't kill them; they start being nice to them. Mm. You know what I mean? When they then they they just get them to a state to where. They just want it to end, so they'll accept whatever. Yeah. Jesus experienced all that and still didn't prepare. No. No, he already, you know, he did his part in the garden. That was, that's power. Yeah. To me, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he sat on his mind in the garden. Oh, he, this man was so tortured he bled blood to his pores. That, that, did you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. That, that, that's something. That, that's, that's a power that we, we just pass by. Right. Not knowing just the, the 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 mental strain on this man, how 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 he withstood that, mm -hmm. and they say every man breaks. Yeah. But he Jesus, take, he didn't take even. He didn't want to drink that. I don't think he did. One time it looked like the that the sponge. Remember that sponge? Yeah. Yeah. That, that chemical, I guess, supposed to dull you so you don't feel the pain. Yeah. And he didn't, I think one script, it looked like he took some, but he'd stop. They just put it to his lips. Yeah. 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 But, uh. Because he said he thirsted, didn't he? He said he thirsted. Yeah. But it was, when he drank, the, it, was, it wasn't dang what he wanted. Yeah, it was hyssop. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that's supposed to be like a painkiller. A bitter, bitter herb painkiller. Okay. Well, actually, I think it numbs the mind. Okay. So you're just out of it till they kill you, because they're going to kill you. They're yeah. going to they're gonna take you, they're going to break your bones, or they'll leave you on the grave for days. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm never saying. But I, I think the part that want to get out there is that, and I like what you said, because I always kept saying too, Thou hearest me. What he's saying is, I know you heard me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So prayers out, sir. And uh we'll pick it up again Sunday. Unless unless the Lord wants something else. Hallelujah! Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pastor. All right, prayers well, out. Father. We just truly thank you for this evening. We thank you for the fellowship that we have. Yes. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the revelation yes. that always comes forth when we gather in this format, Lord God. That, yes. That you 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 teach us the truth. You oh, yeah. you explain things to us. You open our minds to the hidden mysteries, Father God, and truly thank you for it. We thank you that we're able to take these truths and apply them to our lives, Lord God, so that we bear fruit 
because we are tending to the soil, Lord God. Yes. We are putting wealth into what we think is important that we bear fruit. And so we thank you for bringing the increase because it is not us. We know it is not us. Yes. We pray for our nation, Lord God. We pray for this world, Lord God, for this pandemic is taking these lives away, Lord, and we hope that they know you. We pray for those laborers, Lord God, that they're able to go forth and, and reap the harvest so that they do not die in their sins. Yes. We pray for this night, Lord God, that no harm comes before any of of those that we know, any of our loved ones, our friends, anyone in our care. Yes. Uh, we pray for safety through this night. We pray for peace. Yes. And uh, friend. Yes. And we know that we are cared for because we put our trust in you. Yes. And we give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Hey, I'm gonna send you a video.